Welcome back. Meph here. We're playing Bound by Flame. The most metal sounding name since the last metal sounding name. Uh, we're on the path to Valvenor, which is either a town or a, uh, what do you want to call it? Fort? Sure. And it sounds like a place that sells motor oil. Uh, we got Sybil here with us. She's a little standoffish right now, but I think she'll be my girlfriend eventually. I'm like, yo, sup, Sybil? And she doesn't say much. So, let's move on. Just wanted to test my sword, make sure it still worked. Alright, now, there's a monster down there. I don't know if we need to go to it, but... This swamp is teeming with life. I can't wait to discover all the species. Giving orders? Don't interrupt me. Companion can help you re remember to adapt their attitude to your combat needs. Give them orders in the tactical menu by pressing L1, then R2. Alright, let's Olivia. try this real quick. L1, R2. Alright, Sybil. You're on your own. Behave <coughs> autonomously, depending on the situation. Block as much as possible. She doesn't really look like a blocker. Uh, attack from a distance. Cast healing spells on the members of the group when their life is low. I think that's really best so much to be in my kind of place. Uh, you know. Ah, oh, got the block. Good shooting, Sybil. Those electrical fingers of yours are pretty damn awesome. Talk to me, babe. Sybil, can I talk to you? That's what I said. Yes? Uh, no. We already changed our comments. So I have some I'd questions. I'd like to ask you. you a few questions. What do you want to know? Why are you so bow-legged? Can you tell me... Uh, God, do I have to ask for all this? I didn't mean to. Maybe so there's some hints. Any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? I have discovered a few things about the small chrysalids. They are much faster, but it seems that they can only attack from close up, using their pinchers. I also noticed that the medium-sized chrysalids were slower than small ones, but they, however, can fire tiny projectiles. What about the big-ass ones? You know, the snozberries. Really? We gotta ask for all this shit? Wait, can I back out? Nope, no backing out. <sighs> what can you tell me about the World Heart? Many of the people on Vertiel believe that the World Heart is just a myth. There are many different beliefs from one region to another, but most of them have more in common than not. Oh, yeah. The World Heart is where life not and prosperity are born. I've already heard awesome that crap. Profile. If we were to imagine Vertiel as a living being, the World Heart is exactly what it sounds like. The heart of the world. It's what keeps the world alive. It beats. And Vertiel lives from its energy. If you wish, I can try to learn more about it. About Come back and see me in a few days. God. Let's talk about something else. Come on, come on. Let's move on. Yeah, that's enough. That's right, you see that sword? Do not talk too much. That's my job. Now, it definitely shows the path going there. Fine, whatever, you know? We don't need to jump. Criss Cross will help us if we need to jump. Jump. I thought nope. that nature had taken over again here in the swamp, but I sense there is something else. You done? Alright, back to our questing. Oh, snap! What's this? You missed. Oh. <laughs> my flame sword, that's what I need. Yeah, plant don't like fire, do it. Motherfucker, how do I? Holy shit, she's about to die. Barely hitting this guy. projectile thing. Come on, back up. Back the fuck up. Now then. Eat fire! Oh yeah, that worked. Could have done that earlier. Okay, do you get back up or you look kinda you know, that's that's a good look. You just crawl along behind me all the time. 
Okay, everybody healed. Search. What do we got? What do we got? No whammies. Raw metal. Okay. Hmm. This isn't the way. Thanks for helping on the directions, Chicky. This is not the way. We go up here. Some kind of upper upwards. Upper. -ter. Yeah, yeah, I think this will take us where we want to go. Pop told me a lot about you. Really? He's not normally much of a talker. Did you torture him or something? No, I mean, it wasn't a big deal. I just think he has a lot of respect. Put him in the butt. At least she's not talking. Oh, that's right. I parry. Suck my parry blade. Ooh, sorry about that. No doubt you'll start talking to me again in a minute. On we go. Okay, there's being stealthy. Oh yeah. Oh no, fuck you. I didn't want to go in using a different combat style. change uh, my combat styles here. Warrior stance. That's what I want. Okay. Fuck up a minute here. I gotta use some fireballs. Shit. Wrong button. Fucking potion. Come on, both three attacks at the same time. Let's uh fucking Ugh, that was terrible. Do I have a potion for mana? Yes I do. Alright, time for you fuckers to get burnt. Oh that was really fucking special. Right, attack each other. You don't really see it happening, but it would be cool. All right, there's one down. One left. Come on, come on. Keep the fucking point in. And we get to see the sexy crawl again here. What the hell? Not what I said. Pick the treasure up. Oh, and we missed her crawling around. I always miss the good parts. Alright. Continue on our way. I think we're heading in the right direction. Onwards to Valvoline. Or Valvavor. Whatever the fuck the town's called. Obviously can't afford a horse. Alright. Anything about to attack me? like to avoid being attacked as I don't like it. That's fine. I do like treasure. Oh, shit. What is that thing? That's right. You don't like the fire, do you? In that case, I want you to fucking die. Damn, we leveled up. Do -do -do. Uh, skills. Mama said, knock you out. Okay, we got two points again. Let's see. 
Well, since it turns out it looks like we're using this damn thing more often, let's see. Spell is instantaneous. Uh, that's not caring too much here nor there. Uh, intense heat. Let's try the fireball again. Add five damage. Again, not again. First time. Ability to interrupt. Uh, I want to look more at warrior one more second here for my super swords. Hmm. What's this do for us? Interruption resist plus two. What would be in our, well, I guess when we're casting our pyro, that's one thing. Uh, however, let's keep pounding on to our, uh, whatchamacallit, fighting skills. Okay, now we have three points. Now we can buy one of these three pointers. Colossal, maximum health increases more. Energetic, your maximum magic increases. I think we might need that. Passionate, more experience. Lucky. Oh, treasure. Finding treasure. Okay, so I want lucky. Yes. I want energetic. Yeah, more magic. So maybe we can cast like three fireballs in a row. And I think that's all we can get. Yeah, the rest are all three pointers. Swoosh. Alright, Toots. Thanks for the goods. Okay, my magic definitely. I think on the next one, hopefully, we can get the. Uh, skill where it makes our magic go up. God damn it, more of these fucking atrocious things. Not what I asked for either. We want warrior stance. Damn, there's like a ton of them. Now, can I just run to the door? Hold on. Back up here. Come here. Come here, bitch. Come here. Alright, let's try and run it. We can do this. We can do this. Run. Run, run, run. Holy shit, where's the door? Where's the fucking door? Come on. Run. 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 We're almost there. Oh, this was the wrong door. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I think they already ate my uh, companion. Not particularly cool. Is there not a climb button? Gotta be kidding me. I can't climb up that. Come on, I got their attention. Now's your chance. Nope, can't go up that way either. Oh, this is just going so horribly wrong. Come to me, my friend. Oh, poor Sybil. Well. She's not going to be our girlfriend. I'll just put that out there right now because, well, we left her behind to die. I'd, I'd like to say this is the first time this has happened in a relationship of mine, but it has happened before. Up to and including, I was once at a uh, the haunted house outdoor one set up like, you know, Walking Dead style, zombies everywhere, nighttime. Oh, big plant. Keep running. Anyway, and that was with, with the girl. I know, huge surprise, but true. And, uh, all the freeborn blades have a nickname. We leave the past behind, and whatever we were before doesn't matter in the company. So, what do you do now then? Hey, what's that? Uh, you know, I blow things up. Stuff like do that. Do that. It's amazing you have no weapon. Yeah, I'm the hero. So, anyway, we were at a, uh, uh, haunted house zombie style thing outdoors nighttime lots of fog spooky and all that shit and this huge like undertaker sized looking zombie came at us and I, I you know I saved myself I heard about that for well I'm still hearing about it it was I think 2004 or something like that. anyway Sybil's back she obviously didn't die from me leaving in her but I'm sure she's gonna hold it over me for the for many years to come this guy does not need my help. Hey, this guy's fucking fearless. <laughs> Let's help him out before it goes bad for him. Oh, all right. Oh, I earned a trophy. Oh, shit. About to earn an ass whooping. Heal me, bitch. Use your magic. Really? 
to heal me when I get lower. Alright. I'll just keep whacking this guy, you know, on my own. That's right, it's time for you to eat the flaming sword. Flaming yawn. Oh, god damn it, look at me go. Come on. Come on. Ooh, fucking level 8, or I just leveled up and I leveled up again. Yo, fucking fearless Despite guy. Despite his determination, the knight was in an awkward position. He thanks uh, the mercenary huh. for having assisted him in his task. He speaks in the third if person. If he can trust the rumors that he hears around the village, he has before him the one called Valken. No, it's Matt. He I has changed the it at the beginning, of but you haven't remembered the that. To the village. And you are? The knight is called Randval, last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights, and now protector of Valvenor, this village. The new arrival is most welcome, but the steward is waiting in the old village inn. Well, we've met Randall. Now maybe da Dante will be here, probably behind the wall, going, I'm not supposed to be here today. What the, why the fuck am I on fire? Is that fire? Is it Tang? I don't know. It's gone now. Well, we gotta level up. Da 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 da. Two points is not enough for the remaining things that we can. Ooh, finder. The nearby chests give off a sound. Well, fuck yeah, we're greedy. We always want those uh those kind of powers. All right, skills. Let's go see if there's something that does start causing us to. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I don't get magic regeneration till it's clear up there. Oh, kidding me. You're killing me. Hmm. 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 Well, shit. I guess we're going to have to spend some to use some. Or some other rhymy sounding thing. And I believe this must be... Valvoline! Or Valvanor. So you know what? Let's go to Valvanor! Right now. Is everybody with us? Alright, okay. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Loot. Oh, kick that fucking thing open. Alright, now let's go to Valvanor. Huzzah, Valvanor! The fate of Prince Arendelle, heir to the kingdom of the elves, is in the hands of the Red Scribes. The Freeborn Blades won't be able to take to the road again until the Sovereign is once again on his feet. Valvanor is a small village lost in the middle of the wildest swamp in Vertiel. It's a safe bet that a mercenary with a little curiosity can find work there. In the brothel. This is Valvanor. Yeah, thanks. It's not a thanks, beautiful Randall. place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village you know? has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Like Monopoly? Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. That's nice. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? Um, it was once an inn, but it is uh -huh. now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. Shut the there fuck must up, have been Sybil. many visitors before the war. With any luck, we Sorry might get to sleep talking. in a real bed tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, why How do you talk, you like talk that way? Always in the third person. The way people speak is different from one place to another. And I am from another place. The Knight's people are a warrior tribe from Algenda. And he is proud of them. All right. You already told us where the steward is. What does the steward want with me? Yeah, let's What does the that. steward want with me? The captain has offered the services of the Freeborn Blades to the steward. The steward must have orders for the mercenary. Shit. I'm gonna get stuck being this guy's errand boy. Damn. I knew I should have gone with the rest of the company. Damn it. Uh... Yeah, what can you tell me about this backwater town? <laughs> This village is a modest one, and its reserves are almost gone. Its only strength is its isolation in these swamps, but that is also its greatest weakness. 
I already figured it was some kind of shithole. <laughs> the refugees and the villagers must live together is what a different. shithole. And the situation is worsened by there not being enough food. The swamp offers protection against the dead walkers, but it also harbors many dangers. Its creatures often attack the village. When the knight and the elf are not there to defend the walls, the watch often leave them unguarded. Shameless. Shameless. I'm going. Keep coming, woman. I'm not speaking to you. Not right now. What's this sword thing out here mean? Odd. Alright, well, uh, I guess it's gonna have to explore this town, because... Lots of stuff around here that needs exploratory. Lots of silly looking people. Probably every one of them with a problem. Like, oh, would you please help me? There's also this, like, soldier thing back here. So, yeah, I think we'll uh, explore this town next episode. Ha 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 ha. I mean, yeah. We'll, uh, I'm gonna cut it here, and then that way we can spend some time exploring this village and finding out what our stuff is. So, for me and Sybil, who knows her place. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be right back in, well, at least 24, about 24 hours for the next episode, unless we have time later tonight. Thanks for watching. Cheers.